got to collect myself. Y'all just give me a minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we serve a great God who deserves a great praise. Hallelujah. Y'all know that praise has a sound. But just sometimes my feet get happy. Right time. Oh, yeah, I like it. 
when they play. It was pirate at the right time. Romans 5 began with a powerful and joyful revelation of all that comes with being justified in the sight of God through our faith in Christ. Verses 1 through 5, they talk about how we are justified through our faith and how we now have peace with God through our relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus, Jesus the Christ. Yeah. We have uh, gained access by our faith into which this grace in which we stand. <laughs> Verses 1 through 5 also talks about how we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Yes. And I come to let you know that this hope that we rejoice in is a hope that is guaranteed. Yes. I think the songwriter says it like this, my hope is built on nothing, yeah. on nothing less yeah. than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. Yes. Verses 1 through 5 also talks about how we also rejoice even in our sufferings. Yes. Knowing that our suffering does not come to break us to the point where we no longer have faith Jesus. in the Father. Yes. See, that's why the world can't understand it, how we can still live and rejoice even while we're going through. Yeah. They can't understand that we as believers, we can still look and live and we can still give God a praise and a thank you, Jesus, even with tears yes. in our eyes. They don't understand it. Our sufferings can, can be a part of God's plan and his purpose to produce character in his children. But I also come to let you know that our sufferings can also be because of our sin and our disobedience. But even if that's the case, and even if you are in that place, we have to get to a place of repentance, of turning away from our sin and turning to the Father. We have to have that transformed mind, and, and then we can declare, I am new in Christ. All yes. things yes. are passed away. That's right. That's right. James 1 says it like this, my brother encountered all joy when we fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of our faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be complete and perfect. Verses 1 through 5 also lets us know how all three members are involved in salvation. See, the Father had to send the Son to bridge the gap between us. In yeah. John, he says to Jesus, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, that no one comes to the Father except through me. So the Son had to be sent so that we could have the opportunity to get to the Father. And Acts 1 8, it lets us know after we have the uh, after he have bridged the gap between us, it lets us know that we shall receive power when the Holy Ghost, when the Holy Spirit has come upon us. And I come to ask the question with all of uh, God's loving kindness, with all of his patience, with all of his long suffering and his faithfulness, with all of his forgiveness towards that he shows towards us, how can we dare give God less than our best praise? The Bible says serve the Lord with gladness. Yeah. Sometimes I question the people of God, are we glad about this wow. thing? Wow. Are we glad about this thing? Because sometimes we don't serve him with gladness. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Sometimes we come in here and act like we, that, that God owes us something. Wow. Help, us, Lord. Wow. Help us, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. We need to serve him with and in our minds. We need to serve him with our mouths. We need to serve him with our actions and we need to serve him with our bodies. We need to serve him from our hearts and, and with our soul and our, and our souls. We need to serve him daily. Yes. Not just on Sundays. Right. Not just on Fridays when you feel like coming out. But we need to serve him daily. And not only do we need to serve him daily, but we need to die daily to ourselves. Yes. If we learn how to kill this flesh daily, I heard when I first started coming, I heard Pastor, uh, Pastor say that it's not a hard thing, but it's a heart thing. Yeah. And this morning, as we've been saying all day long, check your heart. Check your heart. Yeah. Check yeah. your heart. Oh, In our text, verses 6 through 11, it talks about how God showed up at just the right time. Yeah. Jesus. Verse 6 says that for when we were without strength, in due time, at the right time, Christ died for 
the ungodly. Yeah. Some virgins say that while we were powerless, helpless, and the ghetto virgin says that Christ arrived right on time to yeah. make this thing happen. Yeah. He even asked in John, he even had to ask his mother, he said, woman, what does your, your concern have to do with me? Because my hour has not yet come. Wow. In his time, at the right time, he died for the ungodly. In his time, he died for the wicked. He died for the guilty. He died for the morally wrong. Listen, he presented himself as a sacrificial death. When we were far too weak and rebellious and disobedient to do anything to get ourselves together. See, man was unable to pay the debt for sin because we were without strength, far too weak. So Christ had to pay the debt. He paid a debt that he didn't even know. That's why my praise says thank you. My worship says thank you. My obedience to his word says thank you. Songwriter says that I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you loose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. He turned our darkness into the, that's why I don't understand why we have to pump and pry for you to give God praise. Why we have to pump and be up here sweating in these hot wings for you to worship God. And you will just think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for us. He has rescued our life. And I declare that I dare not go back. Much more than having been justified by his blood, we shall. 
shall be saved from wrath through him. The legal term for justified is innocent. We have been made innocent. Our punishment was satisfied through Christ on the cross. And this is where I can get a little excited and the Baptists come out of me. Because there are too many times we just want to breeze past the blood. I was raised Baptist. Demonstrating his care for us, demonstrating his love for us, and demonstrating. 
demonstrating his concern for a sinful humanity. See, here's the thing. God knew what we needed, and he knew when we needed it. Our greatest need was a savior, so God sent his only begotten son. And I believe the songwriter says it like this. How can I say thank you for all the things that you have done for me? Things so undeserved, yet you came to prove your love for me. The voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude. All that I am or ever hope to be, I owe it all to thee. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. We were ready to help. Jesus, Jesus. Back to Christ. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. He saved our life. And that's enough. That's enough. If God never does another thing, songwriter says he's done enough. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Jesus. Verse 11 says, and not only that, so not only did he come at the right time, not only did he send the right person, not only does he continue to show his love for us, but it says that we can also rejoice through God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, through him, through whom we uh, we can now receive reconciliation. Reconciliation and justification are a reality for God's children. And these are both things of that us as God's children ought to get excited about. We ought to rejoice in this thing because rejoice simply means to leave. Uh -huh. Glory to God. We have been justified. Thank you, God. We have been reconciled back to the Father. Colossians 1.20 says, and by him to reconcile all things to himself. Jesus. By him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. And you who were once alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works. That was us. That was us. That was us. Yet now he has reconciled in, in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy, to present you blameless, and to present you above reproach in his sight. I don't know when to get excited. He, presented, he presents us holy. He presents us blameless. Now y'all know ain't none of us in here blameless. Come on, if you didn't sit on yesterday, then y'all be quiet. Jesus. Wow. Jesus. Wow. 
say this, uh, when praise go up, blessings come down. That ain't scripture. But it does say that he inhabits the praises of his people. He comes to see about his children. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Jesus, help me up. So at the right time, he died for us. That's why I can give him praise anytime. Because as they said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, that ain't just a cliche. But when I think the fact that I was on my way to hell, when I was far too weak to do anything to save myself, the Bible lets me know in due time, he died for the ungodly. That lets me know that once you know, I used to be, I used to be guilty. I used to be morally wrong. I used to have a wicked thought. But that Thank you, thank you, thank you. 